What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to continue working on the stabilizer legs. Just before we jump right into it, I just want to mention I've dropped this awesome new t-shirt design. It's available in t-shirts and hoodies, different sizes and different colours. If you'd like to support the channel, um, give us a message over at Instagram or email me in the link below. Let's get started. So if you haven't seen part one, go check the link above. So what we've been doing here is um, converting an old set of stabilizer legs into um, an electric set. So the first thing to do the other day is I got um, an old, uh, two old jockey wheels. One was the one we replaced on the camper trailer. I pulled that all apart and salvaged this um, square thread. So what I've actually learned is um, that the all thread that I got is a tapered thread and that's not as strong as a square thread. So a square will hold a lot more load on each thread. So what we need to do is turn down the end of the shaft so we can put on our little gear that we've got here on the end. So let's get to doing that. All right, so now we've got those two shafts turned down. The threads on these are slightly different, but I have to try and use two similar jockey wheels. So that now matches this sort of shaft. So we've got the same shape there, and also our gear fits on both. So now what we have to do is drill a hole in the top so we can put a pin in and we'll be able to install it into the leg. Now that we've got this all in there and that turns nice and free, next part to do is attach this threaded uh, nut inside here. So I'm going to do exactly what they did in the last one. In the last, what I pulled off these, we was um, sand the edges down and slide in and then just drill four holes and weld into there. So we'll yeah, be able to use this sander and um, knock those edges off to make them nice and flat so we can put a nice weld on there. So let's do that. inside that shaft there. Um, later on, at some point, I may extend this piece here down a bit further because we obviously have got that extra bit of shaft hanging out there now. So, I'll, but I'll do that at some stage. Um, I have to just try and get it nice and straight so it doesn't kink up this when it's moving down. So the next thing I'll do is put, we'll put this inside um, there. And then I think what I want to do is make this motor a bit more, mount it on here a bit more permanent. So as you may have seen in the last video, the motor was moving around a little bit, so what we're going to do is drill out these holes a bit and put some rubber uh, grommets in there just to allow the motor to move a little bit if it needs to.
check this out. So I've got all that greased up. I did try it before and it was really tight and sharp. So I had to take it all back apart and whack some grease in there. So that's greased. And I've also greased um, this part here and all the threaded rod. <coughs> so there's those little rubber bushings that we've put in. So that just gives the motor a little bit more room to wiggle. Just if that shaft wasn't you know, perfectly straight or it sort of grabs it every now and then. So I'll just give you guys a little quick demo here. So obviously it's making that noise because it's not secured on the ground, but um, I think that's pretty damn good there. So next we'll start making up the mount to the trailer. All right guys, so the plan is to attach this leg here um, somehow to the side of this trailer. So what I've come up with is I've measured the inside of this tubing here. Um, so that's 35 by 35. Well, that's the tube that will fit in there. So I've got some 35 by 35, two mil thickness steel. Now that slides in there perfect. Now that's gonna give us a mount so that we can slide these legs in, whichever way we decide to put them. We just need to be able to tilt them back and forth. Um, so I've gotta try and figure out the height that I want it at the moment, because that's the legs all the way up. So I'm gonna have to cut the bottom off and put the foot on, and then I guess we we'll start making up the mount in here, and we'll be able to attach it to the trailer. Alright guys, as you saw there, a bit of a bummer, um, the motor actually gave way once it got the weight of the trailer, so the shaft wound, wound out of the nut in the socket and the weld broke, so that's a bit of a bummer, um, so I think what we're going to have to do is probably ditch the motor idea and just go back to the standard old crank handle, for now we'll use the drill, so I'll be looking into some type of um, planetary gear, gearbox or something reduction to put on the side, so definitely won't be giving up on um, making these electric, but for now, I think we'll just do that and focus on wiring them up and, uh, and um, sorry, installing them up and making them work and seeing how they do. So definitely jump over to Instagram, guys, or email me the link below to copy some merch. So that'd be great just to help support the channel. I'd really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, so make sure your post notifications are on and so you don't miss out on anything. And make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.